We have another edition of Hometown Heroes brought to you by Overhead Door Company. And we've got Sarah Marino with uh, the Frederick County Sheriff's Office, right? Yes. And is it Sarah with just an A or an A-H? Sarah with an A-H. See, that's more special. We love that. <laughs> um, tell us, what do you do for the Sheriff's Office? Um, currently, I work for the Police Information Specialist um, downstairs. I'm the supervisor over them currently. Um, we basically man the front desk and assist the public and deputies. Okay, so when somebody comes into the Law Enforcement Center, you're basically the first person that they see, right? Correct. Uh, what's the craziest thing that you've seen? I mean, I'm sure all different hours, all different types of people come into the Law Enforcement Center. What's the craziest? Some of the craziest things I've seen are domestic violence issues, women coming in who are, might be followed or have had an altercation with a spouse um, and are just seeking guidance or help to take the next steps to better their life. Well, I'm so glad that they get to see someone like you to make them feel better. Um, are you from this area? Are you from Frederick County? I'm not from Frederick County, but I live right over the line in Poolsville, Maryland. Um, nice. I do have family who lives in Frederick County, though, so it is a place that I am regularly visiting. <laughs> so did you grow up in Montgomery County as well? Yes. What high school? Quince Orchard High School. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Middletown girl here, but we're not going to do like, you know, rivalry or competition or anything <laughs> like that. So how many years have you been with the Sheriff's Office? I've been with the Sheriff's Office for a little over two and a half years now. Okay. And do you work during the day? Do you work overnights? What's it like there? Um, currently, I work days, but our unit is a 24-hour unit, so okay. I previously worked midnights. Oh, how was that? It was interesting. Definitely get a lot of interesting calls on midnights um, and all odd hours of the night. So. Okay, what about on a full moon? I have heard that on a full moon it yes. gets a little crazy. <laughs> I know it does here in the station. Does it get busy for you all out there as yes, well? Yes, we often have a saying, is there a full moon outside? Because that's when the crazy calls come in and the busyness and nonstop can take place. Nice, nice. And what is the best thing that you like about working for the sheriff's office? I mean, besides coming into WFRE, because we know that's your <laughs> favorite. But I mean, what do you like best? I generally enjoy helping people and helping citizens and the deputies on both sides um, and just feeling like I can make a difference in the community. Um, we deal with very high risk, high stress situations at times and just knowing that I can help guide someone into the right direction helps to give me a good feeling at the end of the day. I will say, your voice is so calming. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I just love this. Can you move into the radio station and not go back to the sheriff's office? Um, and one last thing, uh, you wanted to get into this career. Why is that? There's so many careers. You're so talented. You have so many opportunities to do other things. Why this? I think I really just had a knack for wanting to help people, and this is a way that I can give back to the community. Um, I feel a sense of gratitude going home, that I get to go home at, um, to a safe place, and knowing that I made a difference for someone else is, is a great feeling. Wonderful. Well, thank you for coming in for Hometown Heroes. Thank you for watching. She is wonderful. She's Sarah. Thank you.